Hello and my greetings to everyone. Today I will be discussing about the magnetism in our house. Now before we start through the topic, what is magnetism? Well, as we all know that it's a physical phenomena which is produced by the motion of electric charges. It results in attracting and repulsing forces between the objects. Magnetism has the ability to create an environment around them and influence similar environments. These environments can act through solid objects. So they are not made of magnetic particles and they also are in disturbances in the geometry of empty space because only certain objects are affected. The shape of a magnet's influence environment can be measured precisely and we refer to it as a magnet field. Now that you know the meaning of magnetism and everything related to it, we shall go back to our main topic, which was the magnetism present in our house. Magnets can be found all over in our house, in a variety of objects. In order to make things simplified, I will focus on two common things and explain the operation of magnets in them. So our first example is doorposts. As you can see in this picture, the heart of a doorbell is an electromagnet. Electromagnets are coils of wire wrapped around a small piece of magnetic metal. When electricity passes through the wire, it creates a magnetic field around the wire. So whenever you press the doorbell's button, you would complete an electrical circuit that would allow household electricity to flow through the doorbell's internal electromagnet. The magnetic field generated by the electromagnet is then used to power a mechanism that creates the doorbell's sound. Now, the important part here is that the doorbells are low voltage devices. This means that they require relatively little energy to operate. The next important part of a doorbell's mechanism is called the transformer. The transformer, it, it would convert a regular 120 volt household current to the lower voltage, which is usually somewhere between 6 to 16 volts that would be required by the doorbell. Now, at the end, a simple chime doorbell uses the magnetic field created by the electromagnet to move a magnetic piston to strike two tone bars. This later on would make the sound ding dong that you have probably heard many times by pressing down the doorbell. And the second last example is a charger. The humble phone charger has a transformer to turn the AC voltage from your socket into DC voltage that can be used to charge your battery. So transformers use magnetic fields to step up or step down the voltage. As you can see in the picture, the wires are wound in a precise manner so that when current runs through them, the magnetic field around them can couple into another set of wires with no direct connections. So the magnetic fields would propagate through the air and induce a current in the other set of wires. I hope you understood my explanation so far. I also wanted to show you a fun experiment to understand the relationship of magnetism better. I hope you enjoy it. can see the screwdriver is magnetized. When I have slided one end of the magnet from the base of the screwdriver all the way along to the end a few times, it passed some of the magnetic field from the magnet to the steel within the screwdriver. So what exactly happened here is that the needle and the coins got attracted to the uh, screwdriver with the help of the magnet.